Please, go ahead. Ah, that's a bit of a long story. I once had a similar experience. It had to do with the host family I lived with as a child. I was an orphan, adopted by a couple with a great deal of love in their hearts. I had many siblings, and we all adored each other. Once we were older, Mom and Dad would turn us over to be individually adopted by families of greater means, and go on to adopt more young children. They were perfect parents. Or so I thought. And then? And then, I found out we were merely raised as livestock. Once we had reached a certain age, our parents would bring us to the market for sale. All children that were sold would leave the house, and nobody would know what became of them. As for those who didn't sell, they were merely disposed of. Did you know I once considered myself an extremely lucky child? And all of my friends, all of my siblings, they all felt this way as well. I was also not the first to find out about the truth. All those who found out before me were simply added to the disposal pile. I could never shake the feeling of irony every time I juxtaposed their tragic ends against our parents' adoring smiles. Yes, like the society, my parents created a facade of joy, lied to satiate their desires, and even employed incredibly cruel methods to keep their grasp on power. They did all of that, but never considered how their actions would utterly ruin all the children they took under their wing. Worse, perhaps they never cared about that at all. But I did. So in the end, I killed them and set all of the remaining children free. I was convicted for my crimes and exiled to the fortress of Meripede. My methods were extreme, yes, but I was still a teenager at the time. I'd been betrayed by those I trusted most, and I didn't think that more moderate ways would solve the problem. My doubt and helpless anger pushed me forward until I got what I deserved. It's all right. You don't have to tell me what you think. I've already committed to this path, regardless of what anyone may say about it. The least I can do is to make sure that the same tragedy will not happen again in my new home. Sorry to disturb you.